Hey everyone, uh, Lindsay here again. Uh, this will be our second installment of the Sarah Grant video series. Following along with a research project where we're using wine cap to improve soil health. So we wanted to give you a quick update on where we are. Uh, we got our preliminary soil test results, so we want to discuss that. We also um, have been gathering data throughout the growing season. And finally, talk about how we maintain our plots and monitor everything that's been going on. We received soil test results for our preliminary data. Um, we went through earth fort and we were looking at several, several variables, including active fungi in the soil, um, total fungi, uh, moisture content, we're even monitoring other variables, but it's all good news from here. So these preliminary soil, te soil test results will be used to basically monitor changes from the beginning of this project to the very end of the project after the two year duration. Um, we'll be monitoring changes um, between our three treatments, one with the wine cap, one just with the straw mulch, and then our control, just to see if those changes or any changes we measure can be attributed to the wine cap mushroom. So the second thing that we're doing is gathering other data, including um, parameters on tomato plant health, uh, which were planted into each of the plots, all three treatments. Uh, we're looking at overall plant health, color, sort of vigor and vibrance, um, also plant density, and we'll be harvesting tomato crop at the end of the season just to see if there's any changes in tomato yield amongst the treatments. Bed depth and temperature are other variables that we're monitoring every other week throughout the season. And as you all know, ergothionine is another variable that we wish to monitor. We will be doing that measurement at the end of the second season with next year's tomato crops. And then lastly, throughout this entire season, we've been doing maintenance and just monitoring the progression of our plots. You'll also see some footage of us checking for spawn run of the wine cap mushroom, um, just looking for that white myceliation of the substrate in those beds. Um, and then lastly, just kind of maintaining uh, moisture content, which fortunately this season we've been pretty good, so our plots have needed very little watering. This fall, we'll be continuing to moder monitor the plants. We'll be harvesting tomato crops and wine cap crops. Uh, as the fall temperatures start to cool down and that crop starts to fruit. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll kind of keep you updated and continue along with our video series.